Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce Seagate the hard drive. Okay, so in today's uh, video clip, we're going to have three parts: the Seagate drive introduction, uh, one is model, and second is the firmware, and third is uh, the layout and the terminal mode. Okay. So before we start, here's some information about Seagate drive for you. So Seagate currently is biggest hard drive manufacturer in the world, and it's taking up more and more market shares. And it has acquired Maxter in 2006, and now it really has large amount of users. In the future, there will only be two uh, manufacturers in the world who produces uh, hard drives, and they are Seagate and WD Western Digital. All the other brands will be acquired. It already be acquired by now, and okay, Seagate. Their drives divide into three series. Okay, one is U series, the other is Barracuda series, and also with the laptop series, 2.5 inches. So how do we identify Seagate models? Okay, Seagate models has three categories: Barracuda series. So the Barracuda series actually. It uses different technologies. With old technologies, is Barracuda series from Barracuda 1 to Barracuda 10 uses old technologies, and Barracuda 11 and 12 uses different technologies. It's new technologies. These kind of differences of technologies will reflect differently in a terminal mode. It has different output in terminal mode. Okay. So currently, all the SIGA drives, maybe 90% of SIGA drives, what can we see will be Barracuda series. And U series, and U series um, drives with Seagate are quite old, and uh, most of them are maybe 10 years old or even more. So it has several series, but now it's really to find in market right now. And also some 2.5 inches hard drives, and like family name here, Saturn, Neptune, Mercury, and all the 2.5 inches drives, uh, most of them, not all, most of them were using uh, 11 12 technology. Okay. okay, so now we have two pictures, okay, about of two Barracuda series. So on the left, the Barracuda 7200.9. Okay, as you can see on the Seagate drive on the label, there are some information for you. And here, obviously, we have SN model PN number, as well as the firmware version. So uh, on the right will be uh, is a drive of 7200.10. So it's just just different generations of Sega drives, but they all belong to the drives drives using the old technologies. O of course, we're going to have the same information on both drives on on the label on the sticker. Okay, so now. These are uh, two pictures of Barracuda 7200.11 and 12. They're using different. They're using the new technologies, a different technology as well. But almost the same thing you get. You can get from the labor from the, the sticker. So uh, as well on the on the left, you can see it's a drive of 11 generation. On the right, it's 12 generation. Okay. And U series. Okay, this U series is quite old, and most of them still working, maybe uh, on the server. But for for family users, we we don't use it anymore. It's hard to find because the drive capacity is quite small. And also, we have some pictures of 2.5 inches laptop series. This is Momentus 5400.6. So this drive actually using a 11 7200.11. The new technology. Okay. So how? Actually, here. So there, if there is a secret model for you, so what information do we get from model? So now we have this model format for you. So model actually a secret drive. All secret drive will be comprised like these. Model will be comprised like ST. The first two letters XT, ST. Plus size, plus capacity, plus cache and interface. So now we have, well now we have this model, this example. So ST, 
3811A. So ST means Seagate, of course, so 3 means 3.5 inches. So if it's, if 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 it is ST two, that means it's two point five inches. That's easy. So eight hundred is eighty gigas. This capacity. And eleven, that's uh, cache size. And A is IDE. Okay. So if it's AS, means it's SATA. Okay. So basically, what we can get usually when we're doing data recovery is. Then for model is will be uh, the size of drive and the capacity and the interface that will be very important information. Okay. So for Seagate drive, there's three portions from where in Seagate HDD. So the ROM, which is coding masks the ROM, what it does, it copy it copies the code in Siri ROM to control the RAM. Okay. And also the uh, also the code in Siri flash ROM. Then we'll read app code. App application code actually is a is a firmware. It's a firmware. It's a firmware module in Seagate on the platter for the Seagate drive. So that will so this ROM will read from service area, read the code from service area. And the main firmware code on platter. Okay, there's a services terminal level and ATA commands. So firmware. Now we we're talking about firmware. Compatibility is actually what we're doing when we're looking for donor, firmware donor, or RAM, RAM donor. Okay, so firmware version is actually is on the label and sticker on the back of the drive. So if the back of the drive firmware is 3.0, means the version of the firmware is 3.0. So if you're looking for firmware donor, it must be the same, it must be 3.0. Then it's a good donor. If it's if it if it has different from the version, you cannot use it as the, as a donor. Okay. So what about ROM version? So in the terminal mode, we're talking about ter terminal mode later. So in, so in terminal mode, there's output. The saying it states the ROM version. Okay. So if you're going to look for a donor PCB, so the donor PCB must have same ROM version. Then it's a good donor PCB. So now we're talking about term, uh, terminal mode. So Seagate drives works in two modes. So terminal mode and ATA mode. Okay. So terminal mode that will be the data transfers to a COM port. COM port is service cable. So a drive will output diagnostic message to terminal mode and response to command entered. And ATA terminal mode is just a cable. Is a, is a data cable we use to transfer data. This data transfers to the ATA interface. Okay. So this is picture showing you and um, what terminal mode would look like. So now we can see the reset. Okay. So now we have information of RAM. This is size of RAM, 1024K and plus, um, multiply 16. That's round uh, size of RAM. And all we also has this hog one disk. That's a family. And A42 is uh, is uh, we're talking about run version, okay. And the platter reset means okay, it's a good drive. The master means okay, it's master or slave. And T, okay, so if a good drive, so actually you press Control Z uh, when you when you enter the the terminal mode, you go to T. That's a kind of a standby mode of a system of a secret drive waiting for it to type commands, just like in Windows DOS. Okay, so this this actually is interface of the the, the Seagate drive between uh, barcode barcode one and barcode ten. So from barcode one to barcode ten would be like these. So here another picture. So from if it's using latest technology barcode even and after we'll be using F three T. So it's a slightly different, but all the same thing. The pictures, what, what they have in common is what we can do is type commands and the drive will respond to certain commands, and execute any commands and help us to fix the problems. Okay. Okay, so much for the SIG introduction. Hope you uh, learn from this little tutorial. Thank you.